what the complete in I'll describe what I did very quickly I bought some nickel strips of eBay can't remember the exact cost I'll stick it in below yeah one or two dollars US nothing major and I have quite a bit yet I've taken that and I've put them in three of them well two initially and then a third one inside some hydrochloric acid muriatic acid I'm still getting some bubbles coming out, I can see, so that means it's not completely reacted, there's still some acid in there, I don't know how that will affect my outcome, but I'm going to take this out, put it in here, stuck this down because there's a lot of breeze here now, polish the little piece of copper tubing I have, I'm going to strip this wire, connect it up, connect 3.3 volts using my computer power supply, and see if I can get some nickel plating going. Granted, it still has acid in there because I'm still seeing reaction going on, but it can't be that much because the first two went away pretty fast. The third one has been sitting there for more than a day, so yeah, it's taking a while. So it probably is at the tail end of the acid, although the bubbles seem to be coming relatively fast. Huh? But anyway, tail end of the acid, we'll try it anyway, just for the heck of it. The most is going to happen is yeah, it's going to get some copper chloride in it too. So before I started, um, a little piece of nickel wire, and I assume it's nickel, I mean it says nickel on eBay, it could be anything, it could not be pure nickel, who knows, anyway, nickel, little piece of copper tubing, tied up, negative, positive, just gonna pour this in, put on the power, and let's see what happens. One minute in, as you can see, lots of bubbles on the negative side, which is what's supposed to happen, it's a bit more than I expected, eh? it's a bit faster. Uh, that's only 3.3 volts, maybe I should have had a lower voltage, but anyway, let me see how it's proceeding. I'm getting a little bit of fumes coming out, so let me hold the camera a little bit further. Chance for copper, really not that hard. Uh, this is the finished piece, some places were darker, some places came out because I tried an abrasive on it. Uh, light um, kitchen scrub, what you call that, um, sip, abrasive scrub. I was able to take out the um, coating with that. But without that, no, the coating stays. Um, and even in areas where it was thicker, plate, was thicker plating, yeah, it works out quite well. Uh, circular piece, bit of a problem trying to get a uniform coating because one side is closer than the other. This thing got eaten out way faster than I thought it would have. This is, that piece is falling in, it's melted out, and this piece of, not a, quite a bit of it, just tipping it in. So it's you know, it's taking a lot of nickel out, it's fairly fast. I don't know if it's, some of it is going to solution or all of it end up here. If all end up here, well, this side that looks thick has to be a lot thicker than I think. Uh, the other side, as I said, some abrasive and you can clearly see the copper below. So the next step is, let me try a piece of steel. I got some old piece of steel from, this is an old uh, clip. Let me just pong this out, put a little emery on it to get it uh, fine and uh, we'll clean up the mess and then we'll see can I nickel plate steel and that's probably more important than nickel plating um, you know, copper because copper doesn't really corrode but steel does so let me see if I can get this to work this is the item before sanded a little still some dark spots which I don't expect to be covered properly and there's a bit of a copper look there and that is from some silver solder in the experiment I was trying with this before which explains why it's all burnt, burnt up and damaged but all the zinc plating should have been gone from this if it isn't, as soon as it goes in there it will go because the acid that remain in there will react very violently with zinc um, now it's sunny we should have a before and after because I will not be able to get much of this inside there probably a little piece of it at this point I'll stick that in and yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's see how well it covers it. And yeah, let's see if it's inflated. I'll probably leave it out too and see if it rusts after with the unplated piece and the plated piece and see how it fares in the weather. Well, that most likely will not be in the video. That's interesting. Uh, this is why I was used to hold a piece of uh, nickel and you can still see a little, little piece of nickel at the end of it and yeah it was problem too much i didn't really want to stand there and hold it and it's a crappy arrangement and very poorly put together setup so yeah so you use a little piece of wire to hold it the wire eventually sank down into the liquid and lo and behold this got copper plated on top of the nickel you can still see the nickel plate in some places like in the corner there you can still see it possibly here but it then got copper plated and, and that is one of the things people mentioned that um, you know 
copper he holds on well to nickel so the best thing to do is nickel plate steel and then copper plates it and that arbitrarily happened unintentionally happened um so yeah let's just leave this out let me see how it tarnishes uh let's see how long the copper lasts and maybe somewhere along the line i'll take a fine polish like a press tone polish off the um copper and see if the nickel below uh, remains uh, you know without tarnishing and then of course we have the control right next to it here is steel so this will rust fairly easily because i mean it was included before now it's no plating at all so i'm gonna leave it outside here in the ambient and see what happens to it probably return to this some other day but yeah it's interesting to note that this is not a very difficult thing to do maybe nickel chloride is not the best maybe i should have done white vinegar and gone with nickel acetate which probably is less corrosive this probably has long term effects on what i've done but i'll have a look at them later on and see you know how they fare over time